Okay, so here's the parking camera. I'm gonna pull in. And you can see how it's uh, how it's working. Let's see, I'm pulling up. It's kind of kind of bright in the, the lights, but bouncing off. But uh, you can see that it's working pretty good. Flicker you see is just the um, normally it stays on it's low speed. That's it. Hey guys, welcome back to Evolving Mail. So today we're going to do something different. Um, a lot of you guys are making uh, changes to your tire size or to your um, gear ratios with a, a lot of different pro. pro uh, products sorry um, the first one I had was the RC this was about 120 bucks and it gives you um, you got a little uh, control let me see if I got it here there's a little control module rough country comes with the little cord that you attach and that it works fine but all that did was a tire size adjustment um, and I reverted this back to factory so it's not locked to a VIN anymore and then I went to the Pulsar the Pulsar gave me um, gave me uh, some more um, options as far as uh, being able to take off it's supposed to give you a little bit more horsepower and all this other stuff but uh, you know um, this is installed currently and doing um, a tire change and the, the speed thing and it does some other stuff and I need to look in to see what all it does but um, there are some things that it does not do um, there are a lot of things it does not do I recently uh, left the vehicle in neutral or something and shut it off and apparently when you do that it kills the battery I come out the next day and the ba it was it was totally dead I mean dead 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 as a doornail uh, I tried uh, charging it, wouldn't work. I took the battery up to it, a, a battery that was charged and was charging at the same time, wouldn't do it. Uh, hooked it up to the Challenger and the battery, still wouldn't do it. And then after about revving the car at 5.30 in the morning, really loud car, uh, really high rev for about five minutes, it finally started up. The dash of this thing looked like uh, close encounters of the third kind. It's like boo, 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 things going all over the place. So uh, finally started anyway. So it threw a code. I wasn't able to get the um, I wasn't able to get the um, stop start. wasn't working. It was showing me up there, and it irritates me. I don't mind the stop start. It it um, I, I don't mind. It's it's. I know a lot of people are like, well, you know what? Technology, man, technology. So um, I didn't want to take it into the dealer because I ain't got time for that. So I did. Uh, I bought an OBT, OBD2, I bought the um, iCar Pro, and I was able to um, use that in conjunction with, because there's some, some uh, Chrysler or whatever, they're trying to uh, keep you locked out, um, you can't just put it into OBD2, it, it is, um, that's onboard data, uh, I guess it's version 2, that's that little plug underneath where, um, on the left hand side underneath the steering wheel area there, in the footwell. Um, but they've got it locked out, so I had to buy a crossover cable, and this plugs into two places underneath, and then the OBD2 module goes in here. And I was able to do all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of things to unlock it. Well, there's some things it won't unlock. Uh, the radio, and for one, which you can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, one of which is put a trail cam, and a lot of people are spending the three fifty, four, five hundred dollars to add the trail cam. Even from the dealer, I think it's five uh, aftermarket through the dealer it's still five something I think um, some people are using the um, I think uh, the same people that sell a taser um, sell a whole kit and that's like three something and then you still have to have the taser mini to, to or one of the taser units to unlock it well I have bought um, the little pieces the little one little I just paid twenty five dollars for it it's a little thing goes back into the uh, back of the radio and I thought I had a camera for, I used to have this uh, um, rear view mirror that recorded forward and also had a camera that went to the back on my JK, I had that. So I had a backup camera and I had a forward camera and I thought I had those cameras, but I think now that I'm remembering, I was not able to get that out of the, of the, of the Jeep when I traded it. It was too much work. So I think I left it. 
Um, so I got to buy a little camera, but the little camera, I think it's like 20 bucks. So 50 bucks, I'm going to have the whole thing after this. But uh, I bought the Mac Daddy OBD2, OBD Link Max Plus, MX Plus, um, on Amazon. This is supposed to um, do the whole thing. This is supposed to be everything. So we're going to try this out today and see what it does. You do have to download the JSCAN app to your phone. Um, and... I just realized that I can't use the app and record at the same time. How am I going to do this? I guess I'm going to have to break out the other phone. But um, you do have to download the app and buy a, a VIN, which is like $18. So there's a little bit of cost. But overall, it's still way cheaper than doing the other stuff. And it unlocks all kinds of stuff. Um, and we're going to play around and see what things I can unlock. So stay tuned, and we're about to look at it. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is you got to go down here, and you got to pull this this piece right here off and just yank it it comes off just like that that's my gun mount um, and then what we're looking for is this is very very difficult let me see let me grab let me come down this is a hard part of the whole thing so you gotta take those two plugs right there, one and two. You gotta take those out and install the other one. So you gotta reach up in there. You gotta reach way up in there and get those things out. And they're kind of a pain. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them out. Okay, so once you tear up your hand, um, once you tear up your hand, like, let me get my hand off of this. Once you tear up your hand like this, scratch it to crap, you get these two out right here. And then all you got to do is you got to take these two plugs, these giant plugs, and plug these back in, in their place and let this piece hang down. So we're going to go ahead to do that. I'd show you this, but there's not enough room down there for it. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, I'm retarded. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I've already done this once and still forgot. You plug these into there. You don't plug those into the socket. So you just plug this one in. And they tell you to not to leave these things plugged in forever. Um, but it runs fine without it. I don't know exactly what the purpose is. Plug that one in. I was thinking these had to go up there. And I started thinking about going, that's not what I did. And then turn this around. Plug this. This is hard to do one handed, but not impossible. I think. Um, maybe. There you go. We're gonna plug that one in. There, like that. And then we are going to plug this unit right here in. Let me get this set up. Put this back in the thing here. So we're gonna undo this. Pull this out right here. Right out of the box. And there you go. So I'm gonna take this and this unit will plug into that final piece right there. Plug in right to that. Like this. And now we are good. So you could leave this installed up in there so you can you can uh, access it at all times. So I'm going to switch over um, to the app right now and uh, grab the other camera so I can film what I'm doing. So hold tight. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the ODB scan app. Go to that. After you go there, you want to go to either whatever vehicle you have. In this case, it's a Wrangler JT. I'm going to click that. So now you need to find where you're at. So you may have to go, if you're on an Android especially, you're going to have, or I think maybe Apple, I can't remember, I don't know. But you're going to have to go in here and you're going to have to collect, uh, connect to your um, Bluetooth first, right? Find it in your Bluetooth device, click in it, and then um, once, you, once you get it to connect to Bluetooth, everything gets easy after that. So then what you want to do is you want to um, connect to whichever device that it is called. And then go to the, you can switch these things. It goes from one to the other. So dashboards, there's modules, adaptation. 
after adaptation this is where you can do all kinds of stuff so there's camera user settings you go to camera user settings and then there's um, cargo uh, camera on or off and in this case it's active but if you want if it was off it would say deactivate it okay so you want to go to active and you want to go and hit oh, go okay it's going to go through the steps and to be honest I don't remember which one I did um, so there's DTV front camera present on or off I did both of those because sometimes you talk about it and it's called cargo camera and sometimes it's called um, um, front camera so in this case this is off because I, I am um, I had turned it off so we're gonna it's deactivated we're gonna get active and hit go and it's gonna go and then one of the things that didn't happen right away and, and I've heard some people say that they didn't see the camera for for four or five restarts complete shutdowns and, and turn-ons so um, this one's taking forever okay uh, something went wrong, but that's that's okay because I already have it installed, so we're really not trying to do it. So after you're all done with that and everything's good, now you don't want to have you want to have it in run mode. You don't want to have your truck run. When you're all done, you turn the camera on. What you want to do is go up to the very top and and it says restart all ECUs. If you get if you get errors on your on your dashboard doing this, I, I've gotten errors because I changed the the splash screen and I tried to put on a JL splash screen and three times I've done it, I got errors across the all over the place on the dash. I got like uh, um, the traction control errors and stuff like that. And the only way to reset them is to go right here and power on reset and hit go. And it, it says fail. The only reason it says fail is because I'm not currently connected to the, um, to the unit. But that's pretty much it. You want to go in there. You want to turn, turn that one on and maybe turn this one on. You could do one at a time if you want. And then hit the restart all. ECUs. And once you do that, it'll restart everything. Your dash will kind of go uh, close encounters of the third kind for a while. And then it will come back and you will get um, you will get the um, the screen on the uh, the splash screen. Uh, not the splash screen, sorry. You will get the um, what I'm trying to say. You will get the second camera on there. So you can also do other things on here too. So the auto stop start, if you guys want to turn it off, you go to auto stop start and you can say deactivate it and you hit deactivate it and then you hit go and it'll turn it off um for all those that don't want it you turn it off i actually bought the odb scanner because i had i had all these errors and i needed to get rid of them uh my my battery died both batteries died when i recharged them i couldn't get the um and it says fail again the only reason it says fail is because i remember i'm not really hooked up so but after, after I got the battery charged and everything running, my start-stop had an error on the screen and it wouldn't work. So the only way I was able to do it was go in here and clear these codes. And if you go to the first one, Dashboard, and you go Quick Diagnostics, it'll bring up your error codes. And it'll, it'll let you, you can, you, can, um, you can clear these codes. So I just hit Clear DTC, and it will clear them all. And there, your codes are away. And you may have code, sometimes you have codes in different places. So... Um, different codes need to be turned off in different places, but it is pretty easy. Like if you go to airbags and you can say trouble codes and air, if any come up, none, none come up, um, amplifier. So what one, if you do throw codes, one of the best things, this one does not work. We don't have that ability, but if you do throw codes, one thing you can do is just go through every one of these and look and see if there's any codes. I found probably 40 codes, maybe more. And I had to go and clear them all. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Some things work, some things don't. But I will tell you that I was able to turn off, um, turn it off. You can change your tire size, your gear ratio size. Um, I did did mess with my TPMS um, that stuff, um, vehicle theft stuff, vehicle user settings. Um, there's some headlight things here, and one thing I want to try to get now that the camera's installed. Uh, once the camera's installed, I want to try to get the auto um, head beams, highlight, high beams working because it does use the camera, but I have not, I haven't tried it. So anyway, so this is, this is how you do, um, actually do this on the app. And then that's it. You can get out because we're all done after you, after you flash those things and then reset your EC, ECUs, you're good to go. You can get out. Okay. So 
we are going to take the dash apart again because I've got a camera to install. But before I can install the camera, I have and put I have to put this on, which is from Z Automotive. This is twenty-five dollars. This goes into the back of the camera. Goes into the back of the camera on the plug, and then I hook a can I hook the um, camera into the uh, RCA jack. But I have to get this apart first. So the first thing we're going to do, let me stick this up here. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to pull off some of my my trim lighting. Okay, I'm going to take a little tool here, and I'm actually going to pop this off first. baby out right there set her down here where she don't get scratched then after that I take my little socket with my what is the size of seven mil I think it is actually we're gonna use a screwdriver Phillips head screwdriver take off the bottom two to hold this bezel thing on right here oh sorry Bottom two right there. Bottom two. I took one of the screen ones off, which is okay because I gotta take that off anyway. So I take those two bottom bezel ones off. The parts up there. And I'm gonna pull this bottom this surround off this uh, screen. This pops out. Put it up there. Out of the way. Now, I've already taken one of the four bolts off the screen. I'm gonna take another one off right here. See if I can get you in here. So, let's see, right in there. Hold on a second. I'm just going to go ahead and take the camera. So, come in here. Around. So, that to get the uh, bezel off, I took this one and this one off. Now, to get the camera or the screen off, I'm sorry, the screen off, take this one, this one, this one, and this one off. Um, and once I do that, the whole radio is going to come right out. Doing it one handed. Let's see if I can not lose pieces. It's that one. And then. Then that one. So I got those out, now you can just grab the screen, the whole thing comes right out. So now what I need to do is I need to take this big plug off the back and um, I need to add that cable to a certain number of wires. So what I need to do is I need to turn my tablet back on. Got my tablet out here with the instructions on it. Um, if you ever see my tablet, you can know what I know how to break into it so we're gonna take that off this is all the directions for the camera but we're doing this we're doing this backwards so we're gonna take that plug off and then we're gonna take this red piece off and then we're gonna go it says for 2018 and 2019 number 24 for 2020 yellow and 21 black and 22 yellow 21 black 22 so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now go back around Put you back on the tripod. Put you back on the tripod. I'm going to take this plug out right here. Figure out how. this little thing off and this whole piece just kind of turns. See if we can, this just doesn't zoom in any. So let me take the camera back off. So we're going to take 
So I'll pop this one here and then this whole thing's just gonna come right off. It should come right out right there. Let's see. Give me one second and I'll take it off. Okay, so that came out. So now I gotta take this red thing off. It says to take that red thing off. I don't really know why. Get my handy dandy instructions here again. It says to it says you use small flats flathead screwdriver, raise the red terminal locking plate off the main radio cover. Once the cover is raised, insert the pins of supplied RC cable into their proper slots. So we are gonna do that right now. Let me see if I can. I wish I could get this camera a little bit closer. But that's about as best I can do with one guy, one hand. So we're going to take a small flathead screwdriver or a knife. I use a knife because I'm, I live in Florida. I'm a Jersey boy by design, but at heart, oops, just broke that. I've been in, I've been here a lot longer. I just broke that, but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. Okay, so I need to really change my tablet so the screen doesn't turn off in five seconds. Um, come back here to this and it says yellow in 21 black in 22 now if you're old like me trying to figure out what is what it's hard so to see I'm gonna figure this out and come right back okay so I figured it out okay so pin number 10 see this is this first row right there says 10 let me see if I can zoom in a little bit see there's 10 right there then there's 20 so it goes 10 at the top then down is nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then there's, oh no, I'm telling you wrong. So it starts down at the bottom, one, sorry, I'm dumb. So the bottom here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, top is 10. The next one is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all the way up to 20. Then the next row is 21, 22. So yellow and 21, and then one next one up is 22. So that's what I gotta do. If you're looking down at the plug, if you're looking down at the plug, you want to put, you want to get this thing in here. You might be figuring out which way to do it. So if you look at this, if you look at this little pin that you're putting in there. There is, there's kind of a fat side. Fat side is facing you right now. See how it's fat? So what you want to do is you want to go down into the back of the plug with a fat side to the left. And it goes in like that. So I'm going to put it in and then show you what it looks like. Okay, so they're down inside of there like that. And when I pushed them in, I heard a little a little tiny click. They, they clicked in pretty good. And if I pull them, they're not coming out. So now I'm going to push this plug back in. That locks them down in place, right? Push this back in. I'm going to plug this back into the radio. If you're wondering what this is, this is my old antenna cable, but if you remember... I swapped my antenna cable out a while back with um, a uh, aftermarket um, one that can go anywhere. Sticks on the back window. There's my antenna back there because I put a badge glow. But um, I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in and then we're going to try it out. 
Okay, so I just pushed it back in place and rocked that rocked the switch right here back in place. And now I've got this sitting right out here. Every time I film outside of my house, there's loud noises. I really live out in the country where it's quiet. But for whatever reason, it's always loud when I'm filming. People are a pain in my butt. Okay, so now I've got the extension cable here. Right? It's just extension cable, which I'm going to have to run here in a minute. But before I put all this away, we're going to test it. So, what I got here? I got all kinds of crap. So, this is a power cable. So, what I'm going to do is power this in somehow to something with power. Got all kinds of cables here. So, let me see what I got. 